Okay guys, we're over at a tot lot over here today. Metal detecting for the afternoon. It's starting to rain just a little bit, hopefully it holds off. Anyway, we've got a signal down here guys. Let's give it a live dig and see what we can't find. Ah, there we go, look at that. Straight away. What have we got? Oh, it looks pretty fresh. We've got another mob of roos. Dollar coin. Fantastic. Moving on. Got a whole lot to hunt today. Ciao, guys. Over at these uh, climbing stairs here, guys. Another signal between uh, 76 and 79. So let's give it another dig. It is saying it's above two inches. So I'll give it a dig. See what we can't find. Can't see anything just yet. Ah, there we go. What have we got here? Oh, it's not a one dollar coin, guys. Just give you a bit of a zoom there. What have we got here? We've got 50 euro cents. Fantastic. Overseas coin. I like finding these ones. Brilliant. Keep on going. Woohoo. Surface find. 10 cents. A friendly old liar bird. Fantastic. Money in the bank. Keep on going, guys. Okay, guys. Over by the fire pole, and as you can hear, we've got another fantastic signal. The numbers are around 76, so let's give it a dig. See what we can't find. Straight away, look at that. They seem to be right on the surface here today. What have we got? Friendly old Aboriginal man. Two dollars. Nice and fresh as well. Fantastic. Moving on. Another signal, guys. Seems like a fairly consistent signal there. So we're going to dig this one and have a look what we got. And what the numbers before we do that? What's the numbers we got? Uh, 45. It's a low one. It's a low number, 45s. But it is a consistent target. And around this area here, we have noticed that uh, uh, we're getting scattered targets for rubbish and real consistent targets for uh, for good materials. So uh, let's give it a dig and see what we can can't find. I'll get the missus to give it another swing. Alright, we're looking just down here somewhere. Oh, we've moved it here. Let's give it another look, see. Aha, uh -huh, I see something. What have we got here? We've got... A little love heart. Definitely a faker. I don't think it's real. Cool all the same. Fantastic. Alright guys. Another great target here. Now sometimes we dig these targets. Sometimes we don't. Uh, because they use pegs in the corner of the grounds over here. But uh, as you can see over here. There's no signals over here. And we're coming to a real solid signal here. 76 is the number that indicates to me it might be a two dollar coin. Let's give it a dig and see what we can't find Uh-huh, I see it Yes, it is It's a two dollar coin Good old Lizzie's face. Gotta love it And on the back friendly old Aboriginal man Woo! Keep on going Wah, wah, wah. Bad surface line. Metal detector's curse. It's another bottle top. Keep on going. Another great signal. Another bottle top. Wah, wah, wah. Bloody bottle tops. Keep on going. Just another pull tab. <laughs> Keep on going. And. Look what we got here, guys. 
poor little fella's fallen out of his nest. Hey. Oh, you poor little fella. Let's try and put you back up in the tree for mum and dad, I think. Hey. And uh, we're over in a new location, guys. New school tot lot. Give it a go. See what happens. But first, let's try and rescue this little fella. Keep on going. Another great signal. Another one dollar coin. Fantastic mob of roos there, guys. What have we got for a date? 1984. Woohoo! Money in the bank. Keep on going. Okay, guys, same location. Got another signal. And guess what we got here? Check it out. What do we got? We got another dollar coin. This one isn't the uh, Mobaroos, this one. This one is uh, Australian Centennial. Fantastic. Keep on going. Another great signal in the 65s there, guys. Another foot swipe. And what have we got here? We got a 50 cent piece. And it looks like the wife might have another signal over there. Not sure. Sounds promising. Anyway, here's the 50 cent piece, guys. It's our Australia coat of arms with our uh, emu, Australian emu, very much like an ostrich, and our kangaroo. And the date on this one, 2010. So let's move over there, guys, and I'll uh, dig this one here, and we'll see how we go. Keep on going. Okay guys, you'll have to excuse me for the night. We run out of a little bit of light here. We've had one of our first pre-decimal finds. So, uh, well I believe it's pre-deck anyway, because it's nice and thin. And we have a look at it there guys, and we'll see what we've got. I reckon by the looks of it, that looks like a halfpenny, or a half penny. So I'm not sure about the date, but uh, when we get home we'll wash it up and we'll show you guys what it is. Alright guys. Um, fantastic hunt, so uh, as I say, it's probably going to run a bit short on this, this hunt, and we'll put some more footage of a uh, hunt maybe tomorrow. So, uh, woohoo! Our first pre-deck. Fantastic! Keep on going. Hey there guys, uh, I'm just out at uh, Jack Roper Reserve in Broadmeadows. Nice uh, flying fox here. Nice wooden playground, great for metal detecting, no interference. Yeah, I got myself a signal down here, very strong. Showing 75, so I'm guessing a one or a two dollar coin, nice and close to the surface. And, ah, oh, what do we got there? It's a two dollar coin. Can't get it to zoom in there. Aboriginal man on the back. Nice find. Moving on. Got myself another signal here. It's only a 53, 55. It's a bit jumpy. I'll give it a swipe anyway. Yeah, moved it. Hold on, what have we got here? It's a bracelet. Some sort of bracelet. It's not real, it's rusted, but it's got koala bears on it by the looks of it. Can't get a very good view on that one. Oh, this got knocked over by the flying fox. Alright, moving on. Alright, just got a 60 just got a 65 signal. Swipe the ground with my foot. And we got a nice 50 cent piece there. Okay, and the kids are running amok on the flying fox, absolutely loving it. Alright, moving on. Alrighty, got another signal in the 60 range, at 2 inches. So we'll give it a dig. Oh, here we go. 
That's 20 cent piece. Bit of a jumpy signal here guys it's jumping between 60 and 85 I'm not really sure what to make of that one we'll give it a dig anyway what is that here and it's a paper uh, hair clip nice pretty pink one oh well it's a find all the same moving on and got a nice strong one here 77 75 Indicates a one or a two dollar coin. And there we go. That's a one dollar That's coin. It's a one dollar coin. Nice find. Moving on. Hi there everyone. Uh, Sean's decided to abandon me today and go out fishing, so I decided to claim his metal detector for myself for the day. Had a pretty quiet day all up. Went to a couple of parks around the uh, Yarraville, Williamstown area. I'm um, getting pretty depressed about the uh, lack of fines. And right at the end of the day, as I was about to head home to pick up my son, I got myself a $5 pocket spill. All together in the one hole. The two twos were on top of each other, just like they are now. And the one was just next to it. So what a find, I was so happy, it was a dismal day and right as I was about to leave to pick my son up from school I just swung, it, swung the detector one last time and got three signals all at once it jumped from 75 to 76 to 77 and uh, I dug it, I got the two twos, I swiped again and sure enough there was the 77 as well which was the one dollar coin Alright, so that's it for my uh, roundup for today. I might go out again this afternoon after my son comes home and uh, maybe try another primary school. Have a good day, guys. Bye. Okay, guys. Got a uh, really good signal down here. It was skipping between 79 and 80. I thought it was going to be like a $1 or a $2 coin, but uh, we pulled out something very unusual here. Just give you a bit of a zoom up there, guys. It's one... Sverge ore. I think that's Sverge ore. Now, what spins me out about this coin here, guys, is it actually has the date on there. I'll flip it around so you can see the date there. 1927. Oops, we got a bit of a bad focus there. 1927. Now, that would be the oldest coin that we've ever uh, dug to date. So, uh, the second one would be the uh, the uh, halfpenny, the 1928 halfpenny. So uh, this is a fantastic little find. Bit of history. Don't know what country it's from. If you know, leave it in the comments below. Keep on going. All right, guys. Another tot lot, as you can see here. Another signal. Dug the pug, and look what we got here. What you've got? Let me have a look. Friendly old Aboriginal man. Two bucks. Fantastic. Moving on. Okay, guys, another signal. Did a little tiny, tiny swipe. And check out what we got here. We got what looks like a little fairy charm. I don't think it's real, but it's cool all the same. Another signal over here guys, and uh, did the foot swipe, and look what we got. Friendly old Aboriginal man, two bucks, oh and a little uh, button, wicked, keep on going. Surface find, they are Ray-Bans, sweet, keep on going. Surface fine. What have we got? 50 cents. Oh, it's a Captain Cook 50 cents. Ah, sweet as. Penny digger or Thomas. This is one of the ones I'm sending to you, bud. Keep on going. Another hole. Another target. 77's numbers. Give it a swipe. 
And look what we got. We got an Australian one dollar coin. This one here, centenary of Commonwealth age pensioners. Fantastic. Brilliant. Keep on going. And right next to my last target that I just dug there, guys. Did a foot swipe, got a signal. Ten cents. Friendly old liar bird. Fantastic. Keep on going. Surface line, surface line. One dollar. What have we got? This is a different one again. Fantastic. World War. One dollar coin. 2006. Fantastic. Keep on going, guys. Okay, guys, this is a little bit of a roundup of uh, all the metal detecting finds, or not all of them, but uh, the metal detecting finds that we've had for this episode. Um, now, we've got some absolutely fantastic finds there, got some really great historical finds actually, and we did pick up our first pre decimal, um, which is the pre decimal half penny. Um, we did get it on film there guys as you may have seen from this episode but uh, it was getting very late in the evening so uh, it uh, got a little dark and it was difficult to film. So uh, throughout this hunt we did get a plethora of one and two cent pieces there. That's all the two cent pieces there guys so we're going to save hold on to those. Don't know why but uh, you know might come in use one day. So we got a little peace sign man. Fantastic. A nice little peace sign, a little gold booty, not real gold, it is a faker shaker, but uh, cool find all the same, and I'm pretty sure I'll put on this video, we've got the little uh, love heart there that's uh, that's got the little diamond in it, oh, I'm having focus problems with this camera today, uh, we'll keep on going anyway, and a little bow tie with diamonds in it, cool little find as well. There you go, guys. Cool. Now, we did get this little find here, which is uh, quite an amazing little find. Now, uh, it is marked 925, somewhere along the edge there. I'll just see if I can... Uh, there we go. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see that or not. There you go, 925 if you can make that out. Now uh, I went on the internet to look of how to test whether they're real diamonds or not it's very very difficult to test these little ones but uh, from what I can see they have uh, passed quite a few tests so fingers crossed there might even be little diamonds in there now it's not going to be a whole lot of money's worth but it is all the same exciting to uh, find a little diamond ring or a little diamond circle like this I don't know what this one is maybe a uh, diamond ring for a garden gnome or something Anyway, here's the uh, half penny that we found again, guys. Fantastic find again. And uh, found the kids' play equipment, which is not that old a school. So it makes you wonder how long it's been in the ground. And now one of our best earliest finds is the little 1927... Um, half, uh, no, sorry, 1927 ore, which is uh, Swedish ore. So great little find, and boy, geez, guys, did it ring up on the uh, on the metal detector really well. So uh, along with that, guys, we've got an absolute plethora of fifty cent pieces and twenty cent pieces and ten cent pieces, as you can see from here. Now, what you can see down here is not actually, or uh, well, some of them are metal detecting finds, but most of them are not. Uh, this is for a good friend of mine, Penny Digger. Now, Penny Digger, I did promise that I'd send him some coins, and uh, I've tried to get hold of the pre-decimals, but I'm having a bit of difficulty uh, having them sent over to me at the moment. So I started collecting the uh, 50 cent coin finds for you there. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a preview of those, Penny Digger, or Thomas, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, send these to you in the mail as soon as we possibly can. So we've got 50 cents there. Got a silver jubilee one there. Now you don't see the silver jubilee ones very often anymore. Uh, we've got the weary Dunlop there. Uh, the Olympics. And uh, another sort of discovery one there. A Captain Cook one. We've got the Millennium coin. We've got the coat of arms, which is uh, 
slightly different guys than a normal regular 50 cent piece cool all the same we've got world war 50 cent remembrance coin that's our regular 50 cent piece there guys here's a great looking 50 cent piece there so please excuse the uh, zoom in and out there and the last one that we've got there is celebrating what's great on australia day so uh, penny digger i will be sending these to you as soon as i possibly can my friend You'll have to please excuse the uh, lateness of the uh, pre-decimals I did promise you there. As I said, I am having a little bit of difficulty having them sent to me because they're actually in another state, uh, my hometown, which is Perth, Western Australia. And uh, at the moment, I'm having trouble contacting uh, my relatives that uh, do actually have those coins there for me. So anyway, this is the roundup, as I said, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I uh, hope you all have lots and lots of luck out metal detecting there and uh, you know bring in uh, film those rings and uh, bring in lots of gold and treasure because that's what all us metal detectors want to find. So take care guys, good luck to everyone and happy hunting. Hand shooter out.